Hey, Bee Culture readers. Already, another month. Where does the time go? So I'm talking to you about the July article for 2019. Some odd day of just behind the scenes discussion. Month before last, I think in June, I went on and on about you know how, how books simply can't cover everything. It'd be like buying a set of encyclopedias encyclopedias. If, if everything, all the nuances, all the side stories, everything were discussed about every conceivable thing. You can't do it. You can't go into every detail of swarming. So most authors have historically crushed it to make a cohesive chapter, give the high points as much as they could, and then move from swarming to colony divides, to splits, to biology, or whatever. So that's good. And in no way, as I said all those months ago, that I want books to go away. But I keep delving into the things that confuse me. So I write you and tell you that I'm confused. Because I keep seeing bees foraging for water at unheard of temperatures to me, 40 degrees Fahrenheit. I mean, the, the death rate is probably 50%. Why do they want that little bit of water so badly? Shouldn't they be back in the hive clustered at 57 degrees? Well, clearly the cluster probably forms at 57, but there's individual bees that are not home at 57 degrees. So that's why I roam around all this thing. So in this month, I just picked out a few topics that were of interest to me. I picked out a couple of pictures that were interest to me, and I went into it and discussed why I had developed that interest and what it was about these pictures or these comments or these discussions that wasn't mainline book material. Got lawnmowers outside, I got traffic going by, those have to be considered natural sounds now because there's never a time that I can do this video for you when someone's not making noise. So having said that, let's move right on. So what I was trying to do was just spend some time in the foggy areas around some of these main topics. Years ago, I built a piece of equipment. I built it from plans that I found somewhere. I don't know where. It was a simple contrivance, and it was to give bees bottom ventilation. We do all these things because bees are not 100% happy in the boxes that we like. So we keep trying to make things better for them by adding contraptions, by ventilating, by insulating, by doing everything we can to make bees light straight comb and entrances near the ground and all these things they wouldn't do were they allowed to lead their own life. So I spent some time going through that, discussing it with you. Yesterday, on a subject that some of you know about, maybe 250, 300, 500 of you, Kim and I did one of the Kim and Jim presentations. It's one of the few, well, that's not one of the few, it's one of the ones I enjoyed the most. I haven't seen it. I may look like a dork. It'll be several days, a week or so, before I get a look at it. I was going to post, post uh, and hold up a placard here or something, the URL to it, but I'm pushing them too hard to get the address to me, the URL to me, too quickly. So why don't you go into Kim's webpage, Bee Culture, go up to the top black bar and pull down, I don't know, educational resources, or maybe it just says Kim and Jim, and find those that back issue there that we just did. Next month, I don't know why I'm advertising Kim and Jim, we're going to be in my bee yard, and I have kept you informed. My bee yard has been a major pain. I haven't had bees back there now in about six weeks. It has rained incessantly. Something that I remember saying to you last year, right about this time. The grass was literally waist high. It was soggy, muddy, but I've begun the work to clean it up, rebuild it, restore it, and bring my bees back. So Kim Bowley announced yesterday to the world 
that we'll be touring that yard on our next presentation there. So to my way of thinking, me talking to you now, me writing the article, Kim and Jim doing what we do, is all one big bundle of information for the best that we can get to you. I always enjoy talking to you. It takes me far longer to set up for this than it does to collect the video. But I thank you for watching. And I hope we can communicate sometime about bees or any other topic that comes to your mind with a philosophical bent to it. I'm sure it'll be a good conversation. Again, thank you. Jim Tube.